everyone, I'm Claire and at the National Space Centre we are celebrating Solar System Week and today it's the turn of Saturn. It's named after the Roman god of agriculture, who is also the father of Jupiter. It's not the only planet to have rings, but they're definitely the most visible. Made out of ice and rock, they span for 175,000 miles, but they're only about 20 metres thick. That's about half the size of our rocket tower. Like Jupiter, it's made of mostly hydrogen and helium, but it's the only planet whose average density is less than water, meaning if there was a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float around on top. It takes around 10.7 hours to rotate on its axis just once, and it takes 29 Earth years to orbit the Sun. It's the second largest planet, and around 764 Earths could fit inside of it. With 82 confirmed moons, it has the most of any planet in the solar system. The Huygens probe was a part of the Cassini mission, but it wasn't set for Saturn, it was set for its largest moon Titan, an Earth-like world with its nitrogen atmosphere, and it was the first landing on an alien moon. To see if this moon can support life, NASA's sending the Dragonfly mission, said to operate kind of like a drone, set to launch in 2026 and arrive in 2034. And there we have Saturn with its incredible rings. Next up, Uranus. 